Hello everyone, this is Andrew and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about my favorite benefits of real estate investing. There are many, but these are the top five that I like. So obviously the first thing that everybody thinks about with real estate investing is cash flow. It's probably one of the number one things, that and appreciation, which I'll get to. Cash flow, obviously the difference between your mortgage amount, your property tax, your insurance, and any other expenses to do with the property. The difference between that and what you're charging your tenants for rent is the cash flow, your net profits. And that comes in as mailbox money, comes in every month, sort of what is it, making money while you sleep or making your money make money. This is a definite thing. If you're gonna buy in real estate, do make sure that there's positive cash flow. I know that some people buy strictly on appreciation and I personally don't do that. Um, I feel that there's some risk in that, but that maybe is for, for another uh, video. So having said that, appreciation is another great part of real estate investing. Over time, the property will appreciate the value of the property and the land. And generally speaking, uh, nowadays properties are appreciating uh, a little faster than uh, inflation, which is, which is a good thing. It's not always going to be the case, but uh, it's a little icing on the cake. Icing on the cake is a good reminder for me, is that appreciation should be the icing on the cake. Cash flow monthly should be your main objective, and then the benefit that you get, the, uh, the increased equity for the appreciation. Now, closely linked to uh, equity and uh, appreciation is your mortgage pay down. Your mortgage is being paid down every month by your tenants. You're not paying this money. Don't think about it that way. So the tenants pay down the mortgage, the property is appreciating at the same time. So you're getting benefits in both directions. You're gaining equity simply by the fact that that mortgage is being paid down and you're gaining equity simply by the fact that over time, things become worth more and they're only making so much, or sorry, they're not making any more land. So you're getting that double, double uh, threat sort of advantage there. Um, real estate is uh, also great because it can be leveraged. Um, unlike most other investments, um, you're basically, you know, you're putting down 20% on an investment property and the bank will give you 80%. So you're leveraging the property and they're basically allowing you to use less money and floating you the rest and you're making all the money off of it. Um, so it's, it's definitely an advantage there. I, I don't see many other uh, investment avenues where, where you can put in 20% of the cost of the thing, but get full advantage of the thing. Um, tax advantages are one big thing. And I think, I don't know if people really realize this, but your, all the money that you're laying out for your real estate investment, your, your, your um, uh, expenses to do with insurance and property tax. And if you were to hire a property manager or maybe somebody to mow the lawn, repair people to go in and, and fix lights or switches or you know, damage here and there and drywall. All of that stuff is, is deductible, whether or not you're in a business or not, if it's to do with an investment. And the other great thing is that your interest portion of your mortgage payment, which of course in the beginning, probably five years is most, or not five years, or a couple years, is mostly interest. So if you had a thousand dollar mortgage payment, $500 of that would be interest, which you can write off against your income. Now, if you're a T4 employee getting T4 fund, um, uh, earnings, you can write off your investment uh, expenses against that T4 income. So in a sense, you're making more by writing off things that you're not even paying for because your tenants are paying for covering all of those expenses anyway. So there's just so many layers of benefit from this. Um, I also would like to just throw in that I find that real estate is a, a better alternative to stocks for all of these reasons uh, that don't really apply to stocks. Um, generally speaking, you can't borrow money to buy stocks. I know there is such a thing as a margin account, um, but the common person doesn't really get involved in that. They just use their after-tax money to invest in, in uh, stocks or they're using their RSP and they feel that that's locked in. Um, you can't write off the cost that you spent to buy stocks against your T4 income. Um, stocks do appreciate over time. 
but they also go down like we've seen recently with uh, the COVID pandemic. They can go down sharply and it takes time for them to come back up. Whereas real estate kind of is steady and even though the curve is uh, maybe slower going up, it's always going up and you don't have those drops. So all in all, I like real estate investing. These are some of the main benefits. There are others which I could go through on another video. They're a little bit more obscure. Uh, if you've liked this video and found it educational, please give it a like. If you want to hear more from me, please give it a subscribe. And if you want to get in touch with me or follow me across any social media, I'm at Andrew Cox REI. Thank you for watching. Take care.